I do want ammo. Oh, it's up. Hmm. I think it was up. All right. It's up. Oh, I know where it is. My brain just connected the dots. I know where it is. Um. We can just go up this ladder right here. Probably need to go and empty out mods again. That tends to be what contributes to a lot of my weight issues. Come get me. I'm not afraid of you. Bring it on. Cool. Here we go. Use the workbench. Okay. What mods do we have on us? And do we have the mods that I want? Okay. Um. Yes, because I want this to be our plasma gun. So that is correct. Um... It already has a really good sniper on it. So the fact that it's got like exacto sight, I don't know. Like a part of me wants to put a six zoom scope on it for true snipey glory. Um We wanna actually We're gonna put we're gonna put Oh no we're gonna put a silencer on our sniper, okay? <laughs> um, that's actually amazing. I am a hundred percent okay with it. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, that's glorious. Um, ooh, stretchies. Should take a drink of my water too. Oh, yeah. See, there we go. I'm almost out of water. We're gonna have to take a break where I actually get up so I can get more water. Hmm. I do have other things to drink over here, though. Oh, yeah. And then stretch. Mm. Ooh, here we go. Okay. Alright, so do I want post-armor damage, or do I want a 6x? Um... Fourteen and yeah, almost two thousand, so that's fine. Then we want wanna tinker this gun. There we go. Cool. Uh, and while we're here, you will go ahead and boost uh, our other gun, our um, N-Ray. And... Yeah, okay. Okay. We will repair all the things. Cool. Um, we did put this armor on the lady, so let's put some stuff in it. Make it a little tougher. We very rarely have gadgets on us. We don't pick them up that often. Ranged weapon skills. Um... Hmm. 
That's fine. Okay, so that's one. And then for the other one, yep. That and then stealth kit, ranged, ranged weapon skills, and armor degradation. Cool. And then we need to tinker. Um. Make their armor even more ridiculous. And I need to decide if I want to keep my sugar ops. Or if I want to swap into like. This gym jam that gives me more lockpick distance. It's medium. Um, but I mean we're rocking medium armor. So we don't really care about that. Um, and then this one just gives lockpick. I think... I think we might want to just leave it alone for now. Um, I think it's good for now. So. Because we have taken care of that. I'm not going to get rid of this yet. Just in case this is not what I want. But. Um, that one. And that one. And that one can go to junk. And then uh, that can go to junk. And that can go to junk. Cool. So, we can drop off our shit at a machine next time we see one. And go about our business. So, teleport in here because there's a machine across the way, actually. So, we will go across and then we will go to our destination. Because that's unlocked now. Because we came over here before that commute with that comm tower but we couldn't get in um because it was um because it was locked so now we can get into it kind of keeping an eye out for uh, a gadget only 176 huh wonder what i'm carrying that's got all that extra weight i mean it's probably this like i actually spend a lot of time taking all my mods and stashing them to um make sure they're not because they they're a half a pound each which doesn't sound like a lot but if i'm carrying a hundred of them that's like 50 pounds <laughs> so they actually take up so much space um i really just need to go through and vendor a bunch of stuff again which I may do before tomorrow. Okay, so. Transmission Tower Alpha. We can open this door. Here we are at Transmission Tower Alpha. Go ahead and grab our loot. As we do, as we do. Make all the stuff stop glowing. Terminal we need, so we'll get back to that. Okay. What do we got? Main menu. We'll go to the logs first. Quitting time. We've been through a lot together, old friend, but they just blared the evacuation order. Guess that's the end of Gorgon. For the record, you're my favorite comms tower in the whole system. I'll never forget you. Love technician number three, junior grade. Well, shit. Fancy seeing me here. The last escape shuttle left a few of us in its dust. Never seen anyone lift off in such a hurry. We scattered like roaches. It's every man and woman for themselves now. You're still up and running, I see. Looks like only one employee left with his tracker flipped on. What a rube. Signing off. For good this time. You take care of yourself, Comms Tower. Don't forget to stand up straight like I taught you. Best, technician number 13, junior grade. Alright, and then directory. Locate faculty staff. Mo one found mostly Clarence. Location Byzantium. Musgrave Collection. So, thank you for your diligent commitment to personal tracking and surveillance. 
Ah ha ha! We got a perk point. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get the last ten points. Last ten points in lockpick. That's it. Lockpick's done. Uh, the first item in every locked container, which is free to open, can be stolen without consequence. So, nat 150. Um, I know, I don't know what the, I think the cap is like 33 now or something. Um, nat 150, that's done. And then we're going to start leveling um, Persuade um, and or Hack. If we have to go to Byzantium, we need some Persuade. Like, yeah. Um, let's see. Penetrating shots. We might get that. We might take that. Um, detection radius. Oh, that's good, though. Consecrated. Oh, that's when you have no companions. Blech. Um, your next attack after killing an enemy is guaranteed critical hit. That's nice. After you kill an enemy, your sway and stuff are reduced to zero. Uh, damage for science weapons. Uh... Oh, that's right. I was going to put my XP back on. Uh, XP from companion kills. Uh, let's do that. Since we're not uh, as close to cap as we thought we were. All right. Uh, so that means we have to for this for the main quest, and we have to go to um, we have to go to Byzantium. So that means we have to leave. So this one we can't finish this one, or no, not this one. Uh, we can't finish this one until we go to Byzantium and get the thing to unlock it. Um, this one we can do. So, we're going to do this. Um, I think the mines are available. This is the mines. Um, so, I'm not sure for that. Um, and then this is the secret hideout. So, let's fast travel to the chem lab where there's going to be monsters. There's primals here. Oh, that's tight. Okay. Warning, toxic runoff. I don't see any... Because we gotta go down to the... We gotta go over there. But I hear primals. Sounds like they're over there. I hear them. Okay. Oh, smell something awful. Poor fella had his outpost set up right near the crash. Yep. Oh, there's another magazine. Alright. Fish sticks. I need to put fish sticks on the grocery list. I want fish sticks. Keep picking up fish sticks in this game. It makes me want fish sticks. <laughs> uh, hi, Dr. Kim. Oh, do I have to sneeze? I might have to sneeze. Oh, oh, sneeze, it didn't happen. Oh, that's the worst. Ah, my nose. Ah. Oh, that's the worst. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Hi, Dr. Kim. I hope everything's all right down there in the Kim Lab Waste Processing Ravine. I know it gets a little smelly. What with the garbage and the, the toxic goo pits and all. So I just want to make sure you're A-OK. -okay. 
With Virgil's blessing, I've revised the revised schedule outlining the remainder of the package's production cycle. You'll notice they'll note that your propellant solution is blocking Virgil's completion of the packages and medical the package's metal casing. Uh oh. Would you maybe be able to come visit me so we can go over the timeline in detail? I'm in the little office just outside the top level exit from HIA. Can't miss it. Let me know. I'm here to help you. By the marvelous mustache of Excelsior, Bertie Sharp. Issue 4. After narrowly escaping the clutches of the nefarious agent Buff Hardman, wounded hero Archibald Excelsior has a heart in turmoil, a broken PET, and no time to rest, because an ancient colossus lumbering, slumbering beneath the crust of the planet, prison planet Tartarus arises and hungers for the flesh of thousands. As the colossus lays waste to the maximum security penitentiary, Excelsior's nemesis, Hardman, returns to haunt him. Now, Excelsior must face down two devilish foes at once, as lava encroaches on all sides. Excelsior's odds look grim, until a chance lightning strike ignites the PET and gives the Ace Exterminator a fighting chance. Will our mustachioed heroes lay the giant and finally mend his broken heart? That's pretty great. So that was that one. And now we just need the one at the mines. Scratch my ear. Okay. Right. So, from here, let's fast travel to this. It's probably the fastest way to the um, mines area. We definitely have Mantisar shits that have respawned. So, let's see how this gun is. with us not bad not bad I think if I had done Q and I had or like done the, the stabilization thing that probably would have been a one shot um, in the head for a headshot so that's pretty good that's definitely not too bad Okay, so this is the mines. We actually want to go... We got so wrapped up in that. We want to go this way. But I don't see... Okay, there is a way to go. Because I saw this, but I didn't see like this. So. Alright. This is totally going to be Mantisar territory, by the way. Like, there's no way that these mines aren't, like of monsters. Does anyone else feel like the walls are almost leaning in? As much as I love caves, let's make this quick. Mantis love them too. Okay. Oh, that was a really nice shot. Oh, there's two others. I think they got it. Yeah, they got it. They got it. It's fine. Um, that was a really nice shot, though. I do like this gun. And I like the silencer on it. Like... When I'm picking off Marauders, this gun's going to be amazing. Hi, Otter. Here, I'm going to move the bed, okay? I'm just going to move it a little bit. I'm just right there, okay? I, I'm i sorry. I'm aware. You got into it so that you can make biscuits. Biscuit man. <laughs> and I'm moving it. Don't push the bed off of the desk, please. I would rather you not fall on your face. Um, we have enough problems with you being a dingus without you falling and hitting your head. This place is creepy. 
Like, this whole planet is creepy. It's up there. Alright, so... We want to go over here, then. Get more mantis over there. Alright, we want to explore that, but... We gotta go this way for the uh, thing we need, so... Head off. Hmm. Hmm. Man, that was good. Oh, there's another one over there. Look at that. You guys are great. I don't even have to do anything. Also, this thing has a six clip, which is just sexy. Oh, he was eating him. Gross! Ew. Is that a bowler cap with a headlamp attached to the front? Oh, no. It's not a bowler cap pretty nice though it's perception plus one what oh my god that's really good that's really good <laughs> that's that's just that's just broken as fuck <laughs> like that's just broken as fuck um that puts my lockpick up to 170. I get four from the nightlight. So everything that uses, like, yeah. So. Because I get 10 from the nightlight for that. And, yeah. So that puts my science up to 60. And, yeah, that's really good. We're just going to leave that. We're going to leave that on. And, uh, yeah, we're going to leave that on. All right. I don't know what those researchers were doing in here. I'm glad they stopped. Virgil. Making progress on the grab plating for the package, though not as nearly as fast as you'd like. Given the spin rate of Gorgon, the anomaly I've been observing is only present in the sky three hours out of every 24. Doesn't help that I have to readjust my telescope every couple of minutes to keep the tabs on the slippery bastard. Come by my workstation outside the manufacturing dome when you've got a minute. The data this thing is throwing off is strange as all get out. Be a shame to compromise the package with a misplaced zero, right? By the way, I checked on Eustace. The fumes aren't doing him any favors. We ought to get him out of there as soon as we can. How's your sister coming with the schedule? By the marvelous mustache of Excelsior, Maurice. P.S. You gotta tell stop... Tell Bertie to stop bringing me food. If I have to eat another can of damn can of sell tuna fillets, I'm gonna hurl. <sighs> Issue two. After his run-in with the dancing queen, proven hero Archibald Excelsior is mending his broken heart in the glitzy city of Fairview. When a horde of vicious crystal canids escape from the laboratory of an evil unemployed scientist. As the canids turn the city to ash with their plasma beam eyes, Excelsior descends into the depths of the lab to put down the leader of the pack, King Alpha. The king connives to sabotage Excelsior's trusty PET, and our hel hero is forced to fight with the only weapon in reach, the skull of King Alpha's own mother, Empress Crystalline Alpha. Will our mustachioed hero escape the king's jaws? And heal his wounded heart. Alright. So that's done. Mm. Uh, we will go up this way to investigate. Get into the thing and find that PET. It's good when we go to the um what's what's this way? 
I feel like this is incredibly dangerous. We're going to do it anyway. I bet there's a queen over here. We haven't seen a queen yet. I hear something big scuttling over yonder. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay. We're going to get wrecked. Also, F5. Save. <laughs> I figured the mines were going to be trouble. Didn't think they'd be crawling with mance. Oh, lucky. Must have gotten out of HIA a while ago. They've been busy here. Something about the tunnels here gets under your skin and into the worst parts of your head. Makes you feel not yourself. In case I don't make it out of here. Marauders. Must have followed me from OCI. Time to make tracks while the mance are busy. Shedding some extra weight. It's yours if you find it. Whoever you are, you need it more than I do now. Thanks. All right. Save again. Something big scuttling over here. Are we ready? You ready for a Manta Queen? A big fucking frost ass angry Manta Queen? I think we are. Mega Ice Queen. Look at that thing. Holy shit. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Plasma ain't working. Yeah, I know. What about thin ray? That's the last of them. Okay. Hmm. They got messed up by that. They're fine. They'll be all right. Good work, ladies. Oof. Coolant dispenser. Coolant distributor. Oh, it's a... It's an ice grenade launcher? Question mark? That's a fascinating piece of equipment. That's a fascinating piece of equipment. Hunting rifle hyper. It's not as good as what we have now, but that's the next extent. That's the next uh, version of that. Definitely a little bit terrifying that thing was, but that could have gone a lot worse. That totally could have gone a lot worse, especially with how big that thing was. Yeah, that that could have been a lot bigger of a problem. Okay, so let's go. Are there? All right, it all kind of leads out. So, I think we should just go. We'll just take the. I'll just take the route out this way. Oh, we haven't gone over there. There's loot over there. Here we go. 
Thank you. Miss me. Gross. I mean, ammo is good. I'll come over here just for ammo. Um. Oh. I'm in this part of it. Reload. All right. Okay. So we can go back out. Now we're good. Okay. So... If I remember correctly, over there. Okay, go and quiet. His head exploded. Oh, I think somebody noticed that he started screaming and exploded. I mean, it's fine. I'm sure they're fine. For the condition that they're in. I mean, they're dust. So, Anybody else? Is there somebody else over here? <laughs> okay, here we go! Aha! There we go. Flush him out. Don't mess with him. Oh, that was remarkably efficient. Perfect. Reload. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I do so like it when they fall for it when I shoot like a because it doesn't always work it very rarely works that the they fall for it when I shoot something like that that they actually that actually happens yeah this is the one cool okay here we go yeah that should be it Yep, because you can get to it from that way, too. Alright. Whatever this is, I'm probably not going to use it. But let's find out. We also probably have to take a quiz now. Uh, we're probably going to have to actually answer questions based on all those magazines that we read. Let's see how my memory is, shall we? 
inner true fan passphrase. Passphrase expect uh, accepted. One final task awaits thee, fair traveler. You must complete a test to prove your bona fides, but worry not. It should be simple for a true fan of Archibald Excelsior. <sighs> Can I just say that this is a really amazing physical example of fandom gatekeeping. Like, literally, the gate is locked unless I can prove that I am truly a fan to their standards of uh, Archibald Excelsior. And I think that gate ke fan keeping gatedom is bullshit and this is actually kind of funny the way that it's done. I mean, I'm not. But I've read the magazines and that's going to be enough to get me into the into the base to steal the weapon. Alright, in issue one, the Plague of the Manty Men was the name of Manty Men's second in command whom Archibald defeated hand to claw combat. Okay, so that would be uh, Sisak Sassafras, Spindle Knight of Olympus. In question two, in issue two, attacking the Crystal Canons, what improvised weapon did our illustrious Archibald Excelsior use to exterminate King Alpha? Um... The skull of King Alpha's own mother. Uh, in issue three, invasion of the flesh-eating Sprats. Agent Buff Hardman foiled Archibald's heroic plan to liberate the underground metropolis of Aphasia from the Sprat Pack by doing what? I don't remember. We're going to say tricking Archibald with his dastardly mind control ray. Yay! In issue 4, the Colossus Mini Tartarus, how did Archibald ignite his signature weapon, the PET, and put the t t titular giant down for good? The bolt of lightning from above. The passage is unbarred. Enter as a brother or sister birdie. For you are now certified genius, uh, uh, super sidekick. Super science sidekick. And we leveled up again. This is why we put the XP back on our companions, by the way. Um, so... I'm gonna be going to I'm gonna be going to Byzantium we need persuade we're going to Byzantium cool open up Ooh. hey not bad for a scrappy little team this is a fine hideout yeah, it's got lots of loot in it. Hi, Mana. Mana? Aw, it's a pretty girl. What pretty little girl you are. Mm-hmm. You want to lay in the bed? You never get to lay in that bed. Hermes always steals it from you. She's like, no. No, I'm going to go lay somewhere else. Goodbye, Mother. You touched me, and now I must leave. So rude. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Look, I, you are not gonna make it so that I can't get this ammo. This is ammo, and I will have it. Mm. Oh God. Uh. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me. There were two thousand. There were two thousand bits in that locker. Uh. Let me finish looting this uh room real quick. And uh, a catnip has been redeemed. Um, the PET. That is actually a very impressive looking um. This lovingly handcrafted replica energy axe bears a striking resemblance to the pest extermination tool wielded by pulp legend Archibald Excelsior. With his famed PET in hand, a plague of manty, a indomitable Excelsior exterminated a plague of manty men, a horde of crystal canids, a pack of super villainous singing sprats, and a molten giant the size of a mountain, all while nursing a broken heart. Only a true fan could have crafted such an improbable weapon. Boop. You're totally going to take that over the prismatic hammer. 
All right. That's it. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. We have to go here. All right. Uh, I believe I know which drawer it's in. Oh, who's in the tree? Nobody's in the tree right now. We're going to turn off our peripherals to make sure that it doesn't turn into a... Yeah, nobody's in the tree right now. It's about to get very... Well, I mean, Mana. But, like, the the junkies. I mean, like, Otter and Socks. The junkies are in the tree right now. Um, Let me see. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh you know, they weren't here two seconds ago. Hi, 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 oh, hi, hi, oh, uh, hi, hi, you want your drugs? Oh my goodness, hi, okay, hold on, hold on, hi, so hi, Sophie, you don't even like Nip, okay, <clears throat> hang on, hang on, I really don't want to do this in my lap, because, but, <laughs> Otter, get your face out of the thing so that socks can don't don't stick your whole head into the nip thing. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Can you ah ah? Don't rip it out. I don't want nip all over my blanket. <laughs> Sophie, uh, Sophie doesn't really eat catnip. He just likes to sniff it. He doesn't really eat it like the rest of them do. Um. Okay, I need to sprinkle. We're gonna move our roll cake. I have to move my roll cake pillow because I don't want to get nip all over it. Alright. You guys want some nip? Nip? Hi. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got Socks. Socks. Madam. Hi. Hi. I love you. Yes. Look how cute you are. Look how cute you are. <laughs> yes. I mean, you're only being cute right now because you want nip. Okay. Hold on. Here. We're going to... I have nip all over my shirt. Somebody's going to notice that sooner rather than later, and I'm going to have regrets. Nip on my desk. We got nip on the stairs here. Come on, Hermes. Come on. I know you smell the nip, buddy. Come on. There's nip. There's nip right here. Nip right, right, right here. Right here. Right there. Right there. Hi, hi, Otter. Hi, Otter. Look, you're eating nip that's on the chair. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, let me open it so you can have your here. Oh jeez. Hi socks. Oh ah She'll come over here. She'll come get her due. Would you stop licking the lid? Nip sticks to the lid. I can't shake it out if it's wet. Socks. Oh my god, there's so much nip on my shirt. <laughs> here, have some have some nip. Hi nya nya nya. Hi socks. You're gonna start tearing it out with your with your claw again. Hermes is gonna be up here licking my shirt later. I know, I know. Can you not rain it upon me, cause when you're trying to nibble it out of the fucking okay. Can we? Hi. Yes, I think you've had just about enough, madam. Hermes, are you getting in the nip over there? Okay, that's good. Nip all over my desk. It's everywhere. <laughs> you know, if you guys were neater about this, then this would be better for me in general. Here, Hermes, since you're looking for more, even though you haven't finished what you have. We're gonna, are you going to lift the... We're going to lick the dust. We're going to lick the dust. You know what? I'm going to hold it there so they can see that we are licking the dust off of the... And we're trying to shove the lid off of the nip container with our head so that we can stick our head in the nip container and just yep yeah, oh yep yeah, yep that's not it's not working out for you is it baby you know what we'll take it off one more time and it's just for you because you are a menace here there you go whoa oh. so, don't pull so much nip out that it just rains all over me instead of you eating it you weirdo you have nip in your whiskers you have a problem, Socks. Like, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to, like... Have an... We're gonna have to have a talk about Nip. You and I. You might have a little bit of an issue. Only because she gets violent if you don't give it to her. 
I've got so much nip on me. Nip dust and... Oh, fine, here. You know what? Here, have some more right there. Otter, you're standing in nip. You don't need you don't need to come down here and eat the nip that the socks has. Okay, that's it. There's enough nip out. We're putting the we're putting the jar away. We're done with the jar. Okay, I love you. We're done with the jar. Jar goes in. Drawer shut. That's it. <laughs> can you all can y'all actually eat this nip that's on my chair? No. Okay. I'm gonna move this down. It's on the floor, Otter. Are, are you gonna lick my chair? So oh. <laughs> I mean, there was some vocalization. So, ah, hi. Hi. Otter's like, don't even pet me, Mom. I'm in the nip zone. Don't show your butt to the camera. That's inappropriate. Get me banned on Twitch. Stop. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Now there's nip everywhere. There's a lot of. There's a lot of nip. Is that? How is there nip that far? We're just gonna go on. We're gonna we're gonna move on. We're gonna put the roll cake over there since there's still nip on the floor. Um. We're gonna. I'm aware that they have no answers. These questions have no answers. All right. Is everybody happy now? We've all had our nip. Where we are in the nip. We are nipped. Hermes is like, I'm good. I'm gonna go back to whatever I was doing. Um, here we go. Okay. We're good to go. We can just keep going. Cool. Right. All right. So, we're going to be using this. I have no idea how it's going to be, but that's what we're going to do. Look at me changing the camera back without being reminded that my overlay is wrong. Like a real streamer. <laughs> like once in like 50 streams. Um. <laughs> pod person. Uh. Okay. Pro streamer. <laughs> Pro streamers do not tell everybody about their physical therapy appointments. Uh, I mean, maybe they do. Cool. I could actually reach those from here. Speaking of physical therapy. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, so that's done. Yay. Quest complete. We leveled up. Phenom. Now. Uh, I have absolutely heard of Stray. I am obsessed with Stray, and I am eagerly awaiting Stray. You are a Stray cat. That is that game. Um, I want to play that game. Like, I want to play the Stray cat game. Like, there are certain games that I'm like, oh, that looks really cool. I would love to try that. And then there are other games that I'm like, uh, that I have to play that. Stray is on that list. Uh, when the next Slime Rancher game comes out, I'm not going to play anything except Slime Rancher on the channel for, like, a week. Like, I'm going to be obsessed. <laughs> I love, I love Slime Rancher. And I'm obsessed with it. Um, so, let's, since we can't get the, I mean, yes. Uh... Since we can't get, we can't do that. We can't get the, um, well, I should play the first one again. I'll do that at some point. Um, Slime Rancher 2. Ah, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, we can't do the electric sling until we go and unlock everything. So let's go turn in the love is the plan. The plan is death. And then we'll go to. Um, the unreliable 
fiddle with our inventory a little bit and then go to I guess we're gonna go to Byzantium. I didn't think we were Oh. We're gonna finish your work and put you to rest good and proper. Whatever's out here, it better be worth carrying around a man's eyeball. I mean gross. Um Uh, I don't know. I never play it's so funny. I very rarely play modded anything. Um it's not like a, eh, I'm too good for mods, man. It's just, uh, I don't think about it. It's like a, I, like, like, uh, Fallout 4 is a good example. Um, I didn't run with mods on Fallout 4 for a really, really long time. And now I have exactly one mod that I use for Fallout 4, and it's the one that makes your junk weigh zero. That, that is the mod that I run. So Oh, there's a, there's a workbench in here. But we're going to use the one in the unreliable. Um, let's, why is the store sealed? Oh, Phineas' is contact. We, here we go. You find anything out there, you let me know. I'm ready to get off this rock. Don't start fighting now. Just because y'all are wild. It's got that nip wildin'. I found your husband's flask. That's it, all right. Law. Still smells like his whiskey, his cigarettes, and that awful cologne he bathed in every morning. Here. I saved up for this just in case I needed to go out into the ruins myself. Truth be told, I'm glad I never had to use it. You didn't happen to find anything else out there, did you? I, mm, so this is a hard call because I, as much as truth hurts, like if I was Leonora myself in this situation, like I would want to know. But I don't want to, I don't know. Eh, I found his journal. He went mad after the evacuation and became a marauder. A marauder? You're telling me he's been alive all this time? Don't tell me that's the end of it. Was there anything else? There's simply no way of knowing where he is now. You're right. My Jerome deserved better. But deserving isn't the same as getting in this rotten colony. Jerome got me out of Corvin. I can honor his memory by staying out. Time to hit the dusty trail. Be seeing you, stranger. This is what he wanted. Mm, we'll just nod. I think he did the right thing, Captain, but... I hope she doesn't try to go after him. That was good of you, Cap. It's better to know. It's always better to know. Okay. My party, uh, my party liked that. So, cool. Uh, when we go to Byzantium, we might need to use Ellie, actually. It's one of the reasons why, um, Parvati was part of our plus to lockpicking. Um, but when we go to when we go to Byzantium, we're gonna need we're gonna need to use um, Ellie because I think she has a quest there. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, I don't know though. Um, I think I'm remembering that correctly. And there's a lot in Byzantium. There's a lot going on in Byzantium. So, um, oh, didn't even realize that was there. Sweet. 
Hey there, Mr. General Store. Hey, stranger. Nice to see you're still alive. Let me know if you're looking for something particular. All sorts of salvage and weapons. And plenty of. Alright, so... We could buy the... The... The unique pickaxe. But, I mean, we're not going to use it, so... Um... If we took the bonus to improvise weapons, then, like, weapons like this would be really good. But we don't, so... Okay, and then... I don't think that he had anything that we really... want. Extendo. Fun times, mag to zap. Sure grip. Not terrible. Speed grip. Mr. Power. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about... That's about enough of that. Uh, did they? You know, I went to an arcade... Uh, a few days ago. That's where I won the roll cake. And they had... I'm sure that it's... For the weekend, because they hadn't had, they didn't have the machine set up, and it was like a Monday. They had like five different machines with Hello Kitty Funko Pops, Hello Kitty Olympic Funko, Funko Pops, with swimming and volleyball and gold medalist, and just so many of them, like so many Hello Kitty Olympic Funko Pops. And I was like, I need all of those. And <coughs> excuse me goodness eh. water please thank you hmm so yeah they had a whole bunch of them and i was like oh my god i need all of that please okay thanks um 